Hey guys, it's Kiki and it's another 100 days of making comics challenge video. This challenge was created by Kevin Cross here on the YouTubes. Um, and you can see a link to his channel, his first foray into the challenge, and the Facebook group for the challenge in the description below. Essentially this challenge is for 100 days straight. You work on your personal comic projects every day for a minimum of 30 minutes. And then you make a social media post of some kind showing or talking about what you did. Keeping you honest, I make videos. So yeah, this challenge, this is uh, day 29 for me. And as you can see, I'm continuing on with the character sketches. But as you also saw, <laughs> this video started off after I'd already sketched the first one. And that's because I kind of forgot to record. Yeah, um, I got about just about 30 minutes in, today, a little over 30 minutes today. Still sticking with the min minimum. I um, Until I get everything to rights in my house and studio, I think I'm going to stay with the minimum of 30 minutes. But yeah, I barely got my in in time before the end of the day. I didn't have a good day. I didn't get anything done. And I'm going to explain a little bit why. Um, but I just wanted to continue on saying what I worked on it. I finished the last three sketches, uh, character sketches, my friend Tara, my sister Megan, and Mal, who used to be named Mateo, but I named him Mal because he's an amalgamation of the people that annoy me. And I thought it was funny. So yeah, um, got the inks done for those. I almost redid my sketch that I did of myself the other day, but I need to stop being so damn precious about this. I mean, there's things I have to work through, but I'm also being kind of precious about things and it's annoying me. But that's kind of what I'm taking this challenge to do, not only create, but to kind of work myself, force myself to work through the things that I know are going to be speed bumps for me. So, yeah. So, kind of the thing I want to talk about, and the reason I did not get shit done today is, uh, if you've not noticed, I have a bit of an anxiety problem. <laughs> I tend to worry about all kinds of things, and... So yesterday I was talking about how when you're signing on, when you're, when you're creating a comic, when you're becoming a comic creator, that if you're wanting to finish it, you're looking into years of work and um, you need to be obsessed with it to keep up with that demand of that amount of work. And so I also mentioned how Frigadoodles is not a passion of mine, that I'm using it kind of a springboard, but... I kind of went through this like severe um, case of doubt today. Um, my very first comic was the first iteration of Figure Doodles, although it was called something else at the time. Um, and the reason I did it is I ran across a web comic that was like a strip-ish comic, although it was done, it, the way it was formatted was very strange, but anyway, it was formatted more like a long form, but it was technically a strip. Um, and I love strip comics, I read strip comics, but... Uh, and so this, this story was a webcomic of just somebody about their life, and I thought, I can do that? That sounds cool. I learned very quickly that strip comics are not my thing. Um, not because I can't do them, I just, it's not something that I really care about creating. I love reading them, but it's not something that I'm passionate about. My passion, as I've stated multiple times, is more graphic novels, especially when the stories are more dark. Um, and I have... As I said yesterday, I have a plethora of stories um, that I already have. I have. I can name at least five that I have character sketches of, the story ideas mostly mapped out, um, all kinds of stuff on them and that I really want to do. And so I started panicking a little bit because it, it, I was doing the math and guys, I'm going to be 40 next year and my worry was... How many am I going to be able to get out of these stories if I'm wasting my time on a comic that I don't care about? And so I started panicking a little bit and was like, why am I wasting my time? What am I doing? And then I was scared that if I, because I felt I was wasting my time with this comic, because it's not something, I mean, it's it's a possibility that I will continue on with Frigadoodles in the long term. Not very probable, because as I said, it's not my passion. I'm not obsessed with it. And... It's mostly was just, I mean, essentially every time it's come up, it's been kind of a fun thing my friends were in and that I can share with my friends. And, you know, other people read it, but that was cool. I didn't really care. Um, 
Yeah, except for a small portion where I created, a, made it fictional and created completely fictional characters, but that didn't last very long. But uh, yeah, I just, I panicked <laughs> and I almost quit. And because I thought, even though I'm, this is not a comic that, that I'm passionate about that I know will continue on, I was scared that if I tried to, you know, stop it, be like, okay, I'm not, I can't do this because I'm not passionate about it, and then start working on one of the graphic novels, that I would start, that I would become overwhelmed, and I would backslide, and I would quit. Um, because there is a huge difference, because this, this comic, I mean, not, I keep trying to say, like, I don't want to sit there and say, uh, you know, strip comics, y'all don't have anything. If you're doing, if you're passionate about it, and you're doing it, continue it and on, yes. It, there's a lot involved in it, but I could have started drawing this comic two or three days into this challenge. And the only reason I haven't is I've been trying to take it really slowly and I've also been being really picky about mediums. Now, that being said, um, I had this moment of kind of panic and then I was like, if I quit, I mean, I'm wasting my time on this comic, but if I try to move to doing the graphic novels, I'll panic and freak out and I'll stop. And I think it, it spent most of the day kind of panicking and seesawing over it and just... Uh. <laughs> so finally, um, I got up to draw. I was like, you know what? It, I need to get this done because I want to continue on with the challenge. I want to make myself... I want to do comics, so I'll just continue on with my plan and I'll draw the next couple of character sketches but while I was drawing for the most part of that usually I watch YouTube videos but I spent most of it talking with my brother about how I felt and the panic I was feeling and kind of like getting the getting the the panic out of my brain and out of my mouth into the ether to dissect it I guess and I think the thing that was, I think what was causing me a problem is kind of like, you know, when you're sick, you're pretty sick and you take your medication and you start feeling better and you think you're good. And so you might get lax on taking your medication. You might push yourself to do things you shouldn't and then you make yourself worse. I think that's where I'm at. I think I'm at that point where I'm getting my feet back into creating comics that I'm getting super passionate about it and excited about it and really thinking about what I want to be as a creator but I'm not completely ready to push myself where, I, where I'm wanting to go that I know is going to be a lot more daunting for me. So I've decided, <laughs> So I, even, though, even though this comic is not something that I will continue on, I probably, just because I put so much work into it, I probably will continue it on for some time even after I've started creating comics. Um, but it's more than likely going to fizzle out at some point. But I'm going to continue with on with this because it has, even though this is not something I'm passionate about, and even though it's not something that I see myself continuing, it has brought me back to being passionate about making comics and actually drawing again and getting excited about making, writing stories again and, and, and everything. And I don't know if any of this makes any sense. <laughs> But I just had, I had a moment of weakness today, guys, but I, I pushed through it and I made my day 29 and I'm going to do 30 and I'm going to continue on and just take this one day at a time. And I think the moral of the story is when you start panicking, if you have, have somebody to talk to. I mean, everybody should have at least one person you can talk to um, and talk to them. Reach out just, just, to, just even not even to get a correct answer or advice, just to leech that anxiety and badness out of your own brain so that you can see it differently because when it's in your head, it's so much bigger than what it is. So I'm going to stop panicking, take a deep breath and continue on. And I know I'm getting at the place where I'm almost ready to start looking into working in the graphic novel, working on my graphic novels again. Um, which makes me super excited, but again, I also don't want to push myself. I think I'm actually going to start doing some, like, real preliminary stuff, not even drawing stuff, just kind of preliminary story stuff, uh, while I'm also working on Freaky Doodles, just to kind of start easing myself, because as I said, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm at that precipice of almost well, when you're, you know, taking the, 
sick metaphor again. <laughs> and so, you know, at that point you start doing things about your house and go, maybe going to work for half a day or something. You know, you start, you start taking your foot out into the world to kind of get yourself back into it. So, yeah. Dramatic day, boring video. <laughs> and I will, uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow.